a radical new camera called the L16 has 16 lenses with each lens focusing light into its own individual sensor. It's from a startup called Light and it ships this year. Wall Street Journal personal tech editor Wilson Rothman is here to tell us what the hell is going on. Welcome to the show, Wilson. Thank you, Mike. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Well, tell, you, uh, we need to know. This is this is a, a crazy, crazy device. And uh, what is going on? So there's there's three big problems with our smartphones. As much as we like to take pictures with them, they're not good in low light. They're not good at uh, at zooming in on things, and they are not good at creating that portrait like depth of field effect that we see with our DSLR cameras. But of course, the big problem with those big DSLRs is that you can't fit them in your pocket. So what these guys did was instead of creating a giant lens and a giant sensor and you know put, putting it all into a big package, they divided that job up into 16 different lenses and sensors and made it a much flatter, smaller package. I mean, it's still about it's still a, a good sized point and shoot at this point, but um, but it, it it takes amazing pictures uh, and and it can fit in your pocket. So they've really designed this thing to look like a smartphone. Um, I mean, it seems like smartphones have taken a huge bite out of the camera industry because people just don't buy them anymore. Do you think it's likely that this would change the tide? Well, I actually think they're, the end game here for a company like Light is that they're going to want to sell this uh, intellectual property. I mean, I, who, who wants to join the camera industry right now? I think <laughs> these people are inventors. And I think that, uh, you know, if I was Samsung or Apple, I'd be eyeing this as, you know, as maybe... Uh, a first step in an evolution towards making a multi, uh, what is it called, multi-aperture camera for um, for a phone. Because the, the principle is just, you know, how do you get something huge and shrink it down by, you know, crowdsourcing it, if you will. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is grabbing a lot of light, which of course is being converted into data, and each of these cameras is generating its own data, and it's put together into a single file. How big is that file? So it's a 52 megapixel image, wow. which the cool thing about that is you take one shot. It's, you know, it kind of reminds me of some of those, like those, um, what do you call medium frame cameras, uh, uh, you know, that, that the professional photographers use because you take one picture uh, and then you can crop in to like a, a thumbnail size, you know, a part of that picture and you get an extremely like clear, nice detailed shot. So your zoom lens is kind of built into the image itself. You just crop in and there it is. Uh, it's a little like the old Blade Runner where they could like look into the mirror and zoom in and all that. And I mean, hence. that technology is actually arriving. So what did you guys use um, when you were testing it around the Wall Street Journal offices? What were you taking well, photos of? Well, there's the caveat, Kashmir. It's it's actually shipping next summer. What they did was they showed us and a few other you know uh, news outlets. They showed an early prototype and the first images. Um, this thing is such a new invention that it's only ha been shooting actual photos for about six weeks. Um, and yeah, there's they what they brought to us was the device, but it was a non-working unit, unfortunately. So we're not we're not reviewing it yet. We're just telling the world it's there. Okay, so that's a correction on what I said at the beginning, which I said it would ship this year. It will ship next year, just just to be clear. Now, they're, they're saying summer 2016, but you know, with anything that's taking pre-orders a year in advance, that those dates could easily slip. Okay, so what do we know about Light as a company? Who are these guys? Well, the the CTO uh, he came from Qualcomm. He his so his background is actually in um, in chips and in 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 this stuff. He's a he's a camera enthusiast. Who decided that there was a problem you could solve with silicon, and um, it's important to remember that this this camera is Kashmir mentioned smartphones. It's got the guts of a smartphone. I mean, it has a, a Qualcomm Snapdragon chip. No, uh, no coincidence there. Um, and Foxconn is an investor. Foxconn, who of course makes iPhones as well. So um, what you've really got is a lot of smartphone DNA going into a product um, that will run the Android operating system. But when I talked to them, they said they're going to uh, they're going to, you know, kind of sandbox the system. They're not going to let everyone put any Android app on it, but they will let developers who want to invent, say, uh, interior design app that you can take a picture of a room and suddenly you have all the measurements of everything in the room. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, they will totally welcome and encourage and have a SDK for. So, um, you know, it's a it's a lot of different kinds of 
uh, technologies coming together. And, and uh, you know, that's that's where these guys come from. And uh, you mentioned Foxconn as an investor. If you want to really have an eye-opening experience, sir, Google Foxconn for the various companies they're investing in. They're investing in everything. It's incredible. They, I've, I've seen probably dozens of stories in the last month or two uh, where Foxconn is throwing millions of dollars at this company, ac acquiring that company, buying the rights to that intellectual property. They're up to something. I don't know what they're doing, but it's going to be huge. Now, uh, well, it reminds me a little of the ODMs of the, you know, the 90s and 2000s becoming the PC makers, you know, the dominant PC makers and kind of giving Dell and HP a run for their money. It's sort of like these ODMs are like, why are we, why do we need middlemen? You know, why are, why aren't we the companies that people come to? So yeah, Microsoft's saying that too now. That. <laughs> yeah, so, so clearly I need this. Uh, how much is this going to cost when this camera comes out next year? So, so it's uh, so it's twelve ninety nine pre order up through I think uh, early November. Uh, but if you order it, what they say is when it actually does go on sale, it'll be sixteen ninety nine. So you're getting a uh, you're getting a four hundred dollar you know discount, if you will. Uh, now again, like these these sort of pre order things go, a lot of times you don't ever see that 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 full price. It, they usually say they may say something, and and the company never told me this, but I'm just speculating. Maybe they. They'll say, oh, yeah, twelve ninety nine is the price going forward. Uh, who knows? Maybe it ends up costing more and they have to raise the price. I mean, these, you know, when you when the, something ships a year out, I, I wonder a lot about how accurate the pricing is. Um, what drew us to this, you know, we don't like to write too much about Kickstarter projects. What drew us to this was the real, real invention and, the, and, you know, necessity being the mother invention. It was really one of those moments where we were like, yeah, this makes sense. 